Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be presenting to you Cool Hyperland Dots version 2.3.12 and the changes and I'm going to walk through to it. As usual, going to the chain slug, I document as much as I can in here and I'm just going to go one by one with the version 2.3.12. The first thing is the hyperlock. I removed this small feature here on the middle which you can still uh, return if you wanted of course and I just added some additional uh, fonts so it will look a little bit cursive it's cursive actually and it looks a lot better and this color changes actually depending on your wallpaper of course the second thing is the Rofi wallpaper menu now with regards to the wallpaper menu i was actually been offered by abra 00 on the discussion and the hyperland dots and he presented to me this now i didn't really want to do it like this because i thought about the guys who have a wide screen wide monitor and if it's all the way across it's gonna be like too long so i made a difference and now the wallpaper menu is actually looking like this now depending on the depending on your of course resolution this will increase or decrease if you have a big resolution like 4k for example this will also get a little bigger if you have it smaller then of course it's gonna scale accordingly and that's nice because last time on the version 2.3.11 i have actually something like this which then it's I thought of something else, so I I did end up like this. Okay, now the new one is the new W logout style. Now the problem with this W logout style that I was actually offered it's been a long, I think a year design, and I always have been asked that I know that there's always like a difference if you put your scaling on the 1.25 or 1.5 or whatever for some reason so I just end up like this it's gonna be look a lot cleaner in my opinion so everybody all of us whatever scale is gonna be something like this okay then I added some waiver styles and layouts now regarding the waiver styles and layouts please note that I have added in here that some waiver layout are not fully compatible with some styles and then same with the waiver styles not fully compatible with some layouts now as you can see in here i added a note that is for vertical or it's best for vertical because i'm gonna demonstrate to you now let's say i have this vertical waiver on my right of my screen if i choose a different layout or style it looks really big that's because of this uh, module here where you can just scroll the volume up and down so if you choose with the vertical for example this will look a lot better sometimes of course some modules some waiver styles or layout is also still okay see here is still okay to apply but i i actually diverted now with the my principle before that try to mix and match everything but then i'm kind of like restricted of what i can do so it's there okay so now let's go back to the chain slug um Rofi teams and configs it's been tweaking i've been tweaking because i'm trying to accommodate as much as i can and be integrated with all added rofi vertical this is actually the vertical not really a vertical but it's like a long of course it will be compatible with all the um rofi menus and then for this of course i'm featuring the rofi 9 style for this release it's a modified version of loners loner os loner ors 
So this is um, his Weber's uh, Rofi style. And I'm figuring now this. So just a modified version of it, taking the Wallace colors. Okay, and WG displays, I will mention here later on. Uh, and I added this. Actually, it's not a modules extra, but it's actually called. Let me just move to other. It's actually called user modules. Now, these user modules, you can put all your uh, pre config your own configuration or modules here that you want to add to the waybar. Now, this file will not be uh, overridden or actually it will be restored automatically by the copy.sh when you run the copy.sh again, provided, of course, you said that you wanted to override the waybar. Now, this will be restored back. However, of course, if for some reason it didn't restore back, as you know, the copy does sh is always creating a backup. See here, backup, backup, backup. So you can always restore, even though let's say the script failed to restore it. Okay. Now this keyboard layout, I can't remember actually. I've been looking, but uh, there was some post. I can't remember if it's on the issues or in the discussion, but. He said he cannot change the layout of the one while he was on the squid lock or while his screen was locked by hyperlock. I have added now, if you have been using that and you have one more uh, key key keyboard layout, you can still invoke the alt shift command. However, there is no notification because hyperlock doesn't support the notification. But you can still change your lay layout now but even though you are on, on hyperlock okay the default waiver provider now is the python base and this python base actually was um uh it's, it's an mr in here which it detects the auto location according to your ip address of course um if you are using a vpn i think it will not detect automatically and it will come wrong and of course you can always change let's say let's go back to the hyper user scripts whether the py you can still change the location here this is the automatic get location and of course the manual location id is still here but just so you know that i changed now the um, weather provider if you want the weather provider Okay, and then the copy.sh, this is I'm improved. If you run the copy.sh, it will restore automatically your previous wallpaper. I also made a way that this copy.sh will restore all your unique waiver styles and, and configs, which means that if you have a, let's say if you have created your own waybar, it will be automatically copied either into the configs or into the style. Now, these two also will be automatically restored. However, sometimes I cannot find a the reason why, but for some reason, the sim link got broke after uh, running the copy.sh. But again, um, the best way that you can do is before running the copy.sh is to change first your waybar style and layout that will like refresh your sim link and i can guarantee that the copy.sh will restore these two configs but if not again it will be copied here anyway and then also same with the rofi teams if let's say you have a Rofi, your own Rofi teams, it will be automatically restored in here. Now, these files, of course, I always like keep tweaking it. This will not be restored. 
or of course the backup is still there so you can always go back and then any unique themes here that's why i suggest if you have a if you altered some of the con or raw fit themes please rename it a unique way not the same way as like this you can just put it like for example here you just if you just put one like that this will be automatically restored by copy.sh okay so then i expanded also the super shift e which i'm gonna also go through soon okay so let's go with the fixes because last version 2.3.11 um you need to select twice for setting the wallpaper as sdm background and thanks to scarpas from discord he gave me an idea and i have adjusted it and please take note that this sdm wallpaper setting is only supported for sequoia 2 if you have any other team other than sequoia 2 or sequoia in general i just rename it sequoia 2 this will not work okay so for setting wallpaper and another thing if you select the random it will not offer you to set so you need to select a any of this outside the random so for example let's just set one wallpaper and then you it will pop up the yad and asking you if you want to set the wallpaper as a sdm background now i also set in here note this only applies to sequoia sddm theme okay that's this latest um sddm theme that i have offered oh why i cancel sorry and same thing again of course if you choose yes the kitty will pop up i'm asking your password then you will get confirmation right i think it's the wrong password then you will get a notification of course that sddm is background is set okay so that's it uh, one is that okay now let's go back to the super shift e super shift e i have expanded the X a functionality i have added there the hyperland animations hyperland animations actually is there was still the super shift a still here where you got the um different animations from popular uh, providers like n4 hide and ml ml4w rofi teams is in here and choosing monitor profiles so i expanded the um, functionality animation is here monitor profiles rofi teams and search for key binds and i'm gonna also again add more in there okay now let's go back to the this new i have integrated okay now let's go with the nwg displays um, update here i have integrated into that's cool stats for version 2.3.9 to handle the monitor configuration and then also the addition of the monitor profiles now this actually request was from d william 62 or ddubs uh, from discord he requested an enhancement to create a method to store multiple <coughs> sorry to store multiple monitor configs now nwg display is actually a good app in which i could demonstrate to you now for example we can launch the nwg displays using the rofi here display settings or you can go to super shift e and choose the configure monitors now this will launch the um, nwg displays so for example here you have set a uh, you mirror something or you know after you after you have um, set your monitor as you wanted then let's just save it like this for example and then what you what you should do is if you want to load again this uh, at a later date or save it so you can always like you know load it whenever you need to now go to your dot config hyper and monitors dot com copy this into monitor profiles directory 
Now you can rename whatever you want, but for this video, let's just call it 1.25 because it's a 1.25 scale. So then later on, if you need to load again, go back to the default one, which the default, which is um, no, not in creation. You can go to uh, Super Shift E again, and then go to choose monitor profiles. See 1.25 is there now, so let's go back to default is the default. And later on, if you want to load the 1.25, you can go Super Shift E, choose monitor profiles, then you can load the 1.25 again. Okay, so this is actually an easy app and you just need to copy it into that config and hyper and then monitor profiles. You save it here so you can load it later on. Okay, so let's just load the default first, uh, like nothing. All right, so, okay, I believe this is all for the version 2.3.12. If you got any questions, please uh, write a comment down below or send a message on the Discord or apply a GitHub issues and so on. You can reach me. And if you like the video or if you like what I'm doing, if, I, if you like what I'm doing in the Linux community, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And of course, uh, giving us stars into my GitHub. And I'll see you again on the next uh, video. Uh, for the next release, I have not thought of anything actually. So if you have some ideas, please uh, let me know via GitHub, Discord, or even here in YouTube. So at least we can all improve. And again, of course, if you have a some enhancement, then please, uh, you are always welcome to submit a merge request on my github okay thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again on the next video bye now and take good care